I'm really bored today. I don't have much to say. I thought, what the hell? Let's put up a video because there's nothing better to do. Not true, I lied. This is Taxi Vlog 30, the big 3 0. Here we are on an ugly looking day. Uh, well, it's not that ugly, but by Victoria standards, you know, it snowed a little bit and uh, it's uh, not exactly the prettiest. Let's log on here. Uh, uh, this thing's slow too because it's been out in the cold all day. All right. So we're off to a start here. It's really late on uh, Sunday, the 27th of uh, January, and uh, the roads are kind of slick and icy, so I'm going to take my sweet time here. <coughs> I don't want to break. <coughs> don't want to break nothing. There's a reason I'm coughing a little more than usual, is because I'm all congested and stuffed up, but it's not because I have a cold. You see, my landlords upstairs as we've been living there since May have been great uh, no pets uh, everything was fantastic and terrific so uh, just around Christmas uh, we start hearing uh, some uh, scampering and yiping and yelping from upstairs and you know the kind of noises puppies make when, when they squeal and, and stuff and I thought oh great we have forced air heating well, for the first couple of weeks, uh, or didn't bother me at all. Uh, but then, you know, after three weeks, I suppose the uh, the puppies uh, didn't have a bath or something, and uh, I started to get a little sniffle in my nose. Now, I didn't think too much of it, and it wasn't so bad. But uh, then we got a cold snap, and so the heat was going more. And the doggedness that was all over their house upstairs started permeating into our little uh, corner of paradise. So earlier this week, I started getting an allergic reaction to uh, to dogs that uh, had just uh, joined the household upstairs. I'm looking for some Kleenex. Do you have any Kleenex? Fuck. Uh, oh, hey, hey, here's some leftover napkin from last week. I guess it'll have to do. All right, so got this dogness happening and permeating the place, and you know, just my, my last couple days off, which were Tuesday and Wednesday, I was starting to really suffer because I was in the house editing videos and <coughs> you know, staying home when it's my days off. Pardon me a moment. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. So anyway. Um, you know, on those days it was starting to bug me, so Cindy said, well, why don't you get some antihistamine, you know, the non-drowsy kind. Well, they tend to dry things up a little bit, but not completely. Um, so anyway, the dogness was permeating our, our whole corner of paradise. It was getting quite, ugh, quite terrible there. So uh, then I was popping antihistamines, and I, I guess that doesn't go good with beer, so I got a bit of a headache. But that's my own fault. I'm kind of stupid that way. I got my habits and okay, we're on a little patch of ice, so we'll come slowly to a stop. Oh, there's a car in front of me. He's going to take his sweet time. That's all good. It's all good. We don't want to have any crack ups of any kind. Uh, yeah, the dogness permeating the whole place. Then I thought, hey, what about that uh, air freshener machine with the filters in it that my mother gave me years ago for one reason or another I don't know why she she would always give me things like that or or a space heater when I didn't really need one but she thought oh wouldn't it be nice to have a space heater so you you, you wouldn't get cold in the night when you sleep well I don't sleep at night I sleep in the day but that's not the point the, the main thing is that I, I used the space heater because I cleaned off all the closed up all the heating ducts so that the air from upstairs wouldn't go through the furnace and come no, ah. ah. the window's not stuck. Good. It's thawing out. Okay. Where was I? Oh yeah, I had shut off the heating duct so that the dogness wouldn't permeate the rest of our paradise anymore. 
And then after doing that, I remembered about the um, air purifier. So I turned on the air purifier in the living room and I thought, okay, lots of luck, here we go. It worked. I started feeling a little better. And of course, at, in the day when I go to sleep, I put it in my room so that I can, um, uh, you know, have pure air while I'm sleeping. And now Cindy's saying, oh, you're going to have to go get that uh, machine for sleep apnea and stuff because because <coughs> you're coughing a lot more. I said, yeah, I'm having a dog allergy reaction. Of course I'm coughing a lot more. The thing is, she worries about me a lot because she thinks I'm going to die on her because I sometimes have to catch my breath when I'm sleeping. Uh, and uh, no, it's true, I, I don't feel rested, so if I sleep eight hours or four hours, it makes no difference, it's all the same. So maybe I'll look into that sleep apnea thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, yuck. That is nasty, man. If you can help it, don't become allergic to dogs. But you see, I've got a couple of reasons why I became that way, I think. When I was, uh, I wasn't born naturally. I, I, I was born by cesarean section a month early because uh, the placenta wanted to come out before me and um, so I was born I was brought into the world a month early and so I don't believe that my immune system was um, as well developed as a child who had gone through full term uh, so that that made that part of me a little weak and then um, on top of that we lived in a industrial town um, from the time I was about one year old till the time I was about eight or nine and I don't think that helped either because you know they had like the titanium smelters and the nickel smelters and half the time the um, sky was red from uh, pollution so I had you know a, a bad uh, not the greatest immune system because I wasn't brought to full term wasn't fully developed then we had that uh, crappy um, pollution which probably didn't help and uh, then um, you know we discovered that I I was allergic to dogs because uh, I think it was when I went to like kindergarten or something they had a dog it was a private kindergarten they had a dog in the house upstairs and and uh, <coughs> I started getting these allergic reactions and so they tested me for you know cats well it's just a little thing like that when they put the little needle on your arm and you have a little bump okay it was a little thing like that cats you know I can tolerate some cats for a whole day it's not too bad uh, dogs well you know I was a little bigger it was about about that size and uh, then there was a uh, horse. It was a thing this size. Uh, yeah, so, um, and once I almost died from uh, riding a horse. So I, I can't do it. I can't can't ever go near horses as long as I live. The, the easy thing about allergies to pets is just avoid animals. Easy, very easy. Except when, of course, your neighbors upstairs who share a forced air heating system with you get two puppies. Christmas. That's all ice. You can hear it cracking underneath the tires. And there's a stop sign. We gotta come down this hill gently, 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 gently and not wipe out. Because I wouldn't want to find myself in the weeds on the other side there. Okay. Make a turn here. This is all ice. All of it is ice. All of it. We'll take our time. Take our sweet time.